In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five different assets that I really enjoy using for game development and also extended reality. In addition to that, the channel just partnered with the Unity Asset Store to be able to get additional discounts. So I wanna give you a walkthrough of some of those discounts. So you're gonna be able to get 50% off on 8,000 different items. There's also a code that you can use, which is HELLO2022 for an additional 5% discount on transactions of $150 or more. And you can also get an additional discount on top of the preview discount, which is gonna be an extra 10% if you use the code that I'm gonna be basically mentioning at the end of this video. So let's go ahead and jump into my computer and start looking at some of these assets. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the assets that I picked for you from the asset store. Some of them are gonna be 50% off, some of them are not gonna be discounted, but you're still gonna be able to apply the Hello 2022 and also the extra 10% off, which I'm going to be giving you the coupon code at the end of this video. So the first one is one that is very popular, is Final IK. And Final IK is currently one of the ones that is, uh, you know, 50% off. And here you can see how you can create procedural rig animations by using Final IK. They also have an example here where you can use it for VR. And in fact, the video that you're seeing right now was displayed on Oculus Connect. And he had multiple, I think it was about five different characters all at once using Final IK. And there's a lot of documentation in here. It tells you that it has animated locomotion, for VIRK, VIRK integration for, for movement, also VIRK integration for ready player me avatars, and there's also a lot of documentation. Honestly, this is a this is an asset that is a must have if you are a VR developer, a game developer, because you know you're gonna use this in so many different use cases. The the next one is one that I thought was super interesting and specifically with hand interactions in Oculus devices. So if we were to play, you're gonna be able to see some of the interactions. Really interesting because it's doing a snap type of animations, also physics. So the really no animations is basically, you know, adjusting the, the hand interactions with, you know, what you're interacting with. In this case, it's a snapping. And some of these things are really complicated. So if you, you know, if you're paying 2511 for this asset and you can do all these different interactions, then that it's really a good deal you can see how the hand tracking works and i believe this one works with oculus one and oculus two and that's basically you know what he says here on the description i thought it was pretty cool as well and let's go ahead and look at a different video and see what else you can do with this asset so he walks you through all the different you know the setup that you that you can have and you can do let's look at the next video and see so this one looks like it's an avatar with full body physics and I'm going to fast forward it until we can see, kind of like can see the demo. And here's the demo with hand tracking. You can, so those things are really cool because I mean, it, when it comes to doing virtual reality and, and physics, it's not as straightforward and a lot of the components such as the OVR components and also the XR toolkit doesn't come with these things out of the box. So if you can use physical interactions, I think, you know, that's really going to add to the experience that you're building, to the game that you're building. So this is one that it's definitely a must have. It has features for VR, for mixed reality. I know some people that are using it currently for HoloLens and also non-XR applications. And it's also compatible with the previous asset, which is really, really helpful. So again, you can get discounted with the additional codes on that one. This one is also no discounted at 50%, but it's also one that I that I was really impressed with. And it's a, it's a pathfinding project. And if you know the pathfinding solution for Unity, there are, it works well, but you have to save the nav mesh and it's not as fast. This one seemed to be really fast. You can see how the blocks are all actually moving. The character here is trying to find the quickest route. And, and it's really cool that he has these little gizmos that tell you what the path you know that the character is going to be taking so there's a lot of documentation in here it features great nav mesh point and hexagonal graphs automatic nav mesh generation to save you from doing it manually it's fully multi-threaded which is you know why one of the reasons why it's so fast you can see how it closed the door and i did something like this in one of the demos and uh, that I did for pathfinding with Unity. And so I think this is a really great solution to have. The next one is a very popular asset. It is 50% discounted, it's easy safe. And easy safe, if you're done, you know, if you build games in Unity, there's always the question, should I use the player pref? 
And that gives you functionality to save it, you know, to an in, to a float, to a bull, basically some of those native types that we all know about. But this gives you more functionality because you can save, you know, basically anything to, to a JSON file and it takes care of all the saving for you. And see a couple of screenshots in here on how you can use it. You can set up, you know, save on this specific game object and you can specify which properties basically to, to save to a JSON file. There's also an editor where you can, you know, specify additional tags and additional information that you can use for saving whenever you're serializing with easy save so again 50 percent off a really good deal in addition to the other discounts that you'll get so if you need something to save data uh, well not only saving but also loading data if you want to use a serializer that is robust or if, you know to avoid having to write your own i recommend to to get easy save the, the next one is, is a really beautiful asset that I found and it's also 50% off and is the, it's a water system and, and, you know, game developers and, and anybody that uses Unity or, or, you know, have been using Unity for a while, anytime we see water for some reason or, or ice melt, but this asset does a really good job with water. You can see how realistic the water looks and let's see let's go forward a little bit and this is amazing though how it looks this one is compatible with hdrp however the author has a couple more packages that are available for urp and also the standard rendering pipeline so if you want to get the other ones there's also you know it says in here frequently bought together you can get the other ones i want to give you a heads up that those two assets even though there's one that is urp they don't work with mobile or vr out of the box but the i was reading about the, the future developments for this asset and he's going to be or she's going to be making sure that this is supported also on vr and mobile in future iterations but for now you can use basically all different rendering pipelines with this asset so the next one is one that i wanted to do as a bonus so this is basically number six is the bonus asset and Buforia, if you're using augmented reality, Buforia just released, and this was a couple of weeks ago where they released uh, basically a visual effects graph, a visual effects asset that allows you to add more polishing to your augmented reality. So you can, you, you can see on this one, it was a reveal effect. This one is an x-ray and transparency, which looks really, really cool. And they have different effects that you can add to, you know, anything that you're building with Buforia. And again, it's completely free and you can read more information about it. But that's everything that I wanted to, to give you today. The, the, one, the thing that I want to give you before we finish this video is the code that you're going to be able to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. And then you guys can, you know, you guys can start using it right away. Make sure that you use that code in conjunction to the other codes that I am going to be including in the description. But if you use this code right now, you're going to be getting an additional 10% off on top of the preview discount that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, which was the Hello 2022. So pretty good deal. Just use Dilmer NY22, which is you know a discount for the new year. If you're watching this video after the fact, I still recommend you go through all these different assets because I mean, they're really helpful and they're going to help you with game development, with extended reality. So that's everything that I have for you guys today. If you guys have any questions about this, if you want to know more about different assets, if you like these videos, let me know in the comments. Thank you, guys.